Good morning, everyone. This morning we are at the Flat Cone Manor over here at the Moses Cone uh, family land up here in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. And today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite sunrise hikes. It's a very easy hike. Um, go over everything on the way up there. It is currently 5.41 in the morning, so it's going to be a little dark at the beginning of it. But I promise you it'll be worth it. I know it's really hard to see right now. But we're at the parking lot at Moses Cone Plantation. What we're going to do is we're going to take the trail up to the fire tower. And hopefully catch the sunrise. With it being middle of September and a little cloudy, we don't know how it's going to turn out. Don't get discouraged. On the way back, I will show you this trail. So... You're not going to watch this and just go, oh, I can't see crap. I'm going to skip on to the next video. I promise I'll show you all the way back. Unlike most of my videos, usually it ends at the peak or the object we're going to. But since it's a little cloudy and a little dark this morning, we're going to start off with the highlight first. Welcome to Flat Top Tower. Now granted doesn't look like much we are in the clouds hopefully they'll break we're gonna go up here to the top and check it out and fingers crossed if not oh well now those of you who know me in real life you know I absolutely have a fear of heights you wouldn't be able to tell that by my hikes and buy my trips but I am white knuckling these guardrails right now I want to give you the full experience and yes it is an extremely windy day and yes this is the setting for most horror movies in fact if I look down and see a guy with a machete at the bottom I will not be surprised But you should hike, whether it's sunny, whether it's cloudy. It's better when it's cloudy. There's no one around. You have time to reflect. Yep, I'm going to show you this magnificent view. That one about to knock me over. So we're gonna sit back, drink some water, see if it clears up. It is extremely, extremely windy up here. And it looks like the clouds are trying their hardest to break. So we're gonna hang out for a few more minutes. Get to see a little bit of sun, but I keep looking down at that entrance, just waiting for someone with a machete to still come up. Because this is some good, scary movie locations. Well, it's sunrise in theory. Um, doesn't look like it's going to break much, it's actually getting worse. Uh, hopefully, it's just at this level, so we'll go down and see if we can find some clearings and uh, see if we still see some beautiful sunrise. Um, you can't always make a cloudy day a beautiful sunny day, but we can always make the best of it, right? So, we'll head on down, get to the bottom, and see if we can find some sun. Right, so, we've come to the bottom of it, and I want to give you just one great look at this tower before we leave. You can see where there's a spot you can actually hitch up your horse if you decide to take your horse up here. The trail is relatively smooth and flat the whole way. It's a great trail running trail. Great day hike trail. And it's only a five mile round trip the whole way, so it's a great way to start your day. I work every morning at nine o'clock and yet I'm out here doing this, so I'll be home enough in time to get a shower and work, so you don't have an excuse either. Let's get back to the trail. 
for all my horror movie buffs. This is a great location. In fact, I can become a creepy villain out here too. Make myself the Cyclops. Ooh. Ah. It's for a terrain look for those of you who are wondering. It's gravel like this the whole way. Um, you only have a 600 foot, maybe 650 foot elevation gain to the top of the tower. Then it's downhill all the way back. So those of you that are looking for a good little morning trail run, it's nice. It's close to town. You can stop in town, grab you some breakfast afterwards. And right now you can tell fall is starting to creep up on summer. I got all these leaves starting to fall, so it'd be a good destination for you for those of you that have a weekend off soon. It's also right down the road. Um, we have the Boone Fork Trail. It's a nice little five mile loop. A lot of people, a lot of my viewers especially know about all that because it's one of the most popular areas around here for waterfalls because it's close to the trail. There's a lot of waterfalls. You got Hebron Falls is out there. So when you get done with that, come on up here, stretch your legs out, get a view of the city and uh, you know, dry out a little bit. Work up that appetite for when you wanna go to grab some lunch in town. If you're actually curious to what the tower looks like when it's sunny out. Um, check on my Facebook page. I do have it public so you can see everything on there. I've got several uh, photos taken under my photo albums of the tower. And of course, as you can Google the tower and you'll see a lot of photos too. And I promise you, when it's clear, it's amazing. You just have to take my word for it. So we're coming up probably about a quarter mile my universal measurement for every distance but we are legit probably about a quarter mile from the top of the tower this is one of the overlooks you'll pass along the way it's one of the widest view spans you'll see um, now that we've actually come down a little bit I can definitely tell that we were in the cloud line so see what kind of view we have up here of the town of blowing rock I can see a little bit of sun peeking through on the mountains Oh yeah. Yep. You can see that line of clouds is, is running through the whole top up there, so. Still catch a little bit of the sunrise. Not the angle I was hoping for. And if you look down here, that road right there is 321. It comes up through Blowing Rock, so that's a little town of Blowing Rock right through there. Give y'all a second to enjoy that view before we start heading back. Still a good hike. Every day on the trail is a good hike though. Just down a little bit further. Got another cute little overlook. Overlooks the same area. But good little spot if you actually have a significant other or something if you want to do like a little quick picnic or something you can come up here and hang out on this rock have a nice little bit of ambiance with your picnic lunch take it a little further down won't be too long till we're in the field just below the mountain. I'm gonna go pay our respects to the man who gave it us gave us this whole land. So there's about 3,500 acres of land out here that belong to the Moses Cone family. Um, so not only do you have the mountain, you've got hills, and fields, hay bales, just amazing views. The Flat Top Manor, which is the main estate, gets about 250 
thousand uh, visitors a year. Um, so you can imagine this place does get busy. So if you do come out, come out for the morning hikes. There's not that many out here, but you come by on the afternoons, on the weekends, it gets a little busy. So just a little heads up. So we're down here in the field. It's the main trail. That beautiful sunrise. You can see there's still clouds up there in the tower area. But when you do come through here, take this little side trail. It goes up to the woods. Let's see why in a second. Back here in this little area is Mr. Moses H. Cohn himself and his wife Bertha. Businessman, innovator, and conservationalist. He had a lot of hemlocks and white pines planted out here. It was a one of the reason, main manufacturers for dyeing denim, actually. So, if you do come out, stop for a moment, pay your respects. And I tell you what, this man's watching over Blowing Rock all the time. It's one heck of a view to have for the rest of your life. Well, rest of eternity. So. Thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Cohn. Till next time. So we're heading out of the graveyard. I'm gonna take the right back to the main trail to get back to the plantation, to the house. But I just wanted to show y'all. Still cloudy. So what makes this trail so good also, not only do you have the mountain, the fields, you get to go back through the forests. There's so many beautiful trees out here. And if you keep your eyes peeled, you'll see some deer too. It's coming out of the trees. For all my nature lovers. There's plenty of cows too. So the Moses Cone Park's right up there. We're gonna take this trail on around and get our day started. Here's a happy little cow. I could not have timed that any better. We got one sticking his head through, get hold of the good stuff. All right, let's get back to the trail. This is the bridge. This tunnel goes underneath. The Blue Ridge Parkway, and I absolutely love it because it echoes. Uh, it's little things in life. So, so back here, there's the parking lot, and there's the horse stables, which I think now are bathrooms. All in all, five mile trip, not too bad. So if you do keep on coming on past though, I'm sure you'll definitely stop off and take a look at it. But just quickly show you the Moses Cone, the flat top manor. Their amazing view. Definitely looking forward to come back. And there's some snow on the ground. Although we're going to have to road hike to it because the parkway is closed in the winter. Here's the Flat Top Manor. It's now uh, ran by a craft. I cannot think of the name of it, but I'll put a link about it below. But a craft section now runs it, so it's all North Carolina local crafts in there. And take a look. See way down there, Bass Lake. Somewhere over that way is Trout Lake. If you ever get a chance, come on out. There's several, 
several trails out here you can take. But as always, thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my other stuff I've got. Any comments, questions, by all means, post below. Be more than happy to answer them. And thank you, everybody.